Well, a new wave of migrants is once again pushing U.S. Border Patrol to the breaking point. Our cameras were there this morning as scores of migrants arrived at Eagle Pass, Texas. Many more still arriving at this hour. And that comes as new numbers for December confirm this surge. Border Patrol sources telling News Nation they've had more than 96 thousand migrant encounters already this month. That's about 15,000 more than at this point last month. Correspondent Allie Bradley is live in Eagle Pass. Um, so Allie, I'm curious, what's the scene like there right now? Yeah, hey Kelly, so right now you can see right behind me, this is just a fraction of the hundreds of migrants who have poured into Eagle Pass illegally here this morning. These individuals are waiting right now to be transported, but let me show you this way. This is what where they start. So they cross the river here and just over that ridge is where they were gathering. There were hundreds of them, over 400 at one point, in one group over there standing, waiting to be processed and transported here. So this is also where we've seen several ambulances arrive to take care of some of the sick or injured among the masses. This happens all of the time. Every place we've been, we see people who need medical help, who need medical attention as soon as they get to the United States. Now, when it comes to the Texas National Guard and the Department of Public Safety, they've put up concertina wire all the way along that river. You'll remember when we were here last time in Eagle Pass and we saw groups gathering on the other side of that wire and then they had to walk a mile or two before they were actually received by Border Patrol. This area has kind of mitigated that. They've walked right up and self-surrendered right Right on that ridge and now they're being transported up here but what we're being told is that they're being re-diverted back down to where the the bridge is so we're going to be having more on that uh, coming up in the next hour but despite the efforts thousands of migrants continue to pour into Texas, continue to pour across our southern border in order to reach U.S. soil. So sources telling News Nation that only local processing facilities that hold up to 1,000 migrants, there's over 4,000 in that soft-sided facility, which is called Firefly, one of those areas that's just been maxed out for months, if not years, you guys. Now, in just one day alone last week, we saw over 3,000 migrants cross illegally here into Eagle Pass. Now, agents are increasingly finding unaccompanied minors, too, who are either abandoned by human smugglers along the border, or they're arriving with migrant groups in larger groups. Now, the child that you can see here, you can see there's a note on their shirt. That person, uh, that was a point of contact for that child, uh, for a person in the United States. That's happening more and more often where the child comes over here and is alone, and the parent is already in the interior of the United States. We reported that down in Lukeville, Arizona as well. Now, those that we're seeing these staggering numbers right now, we, you reported those numbers. We've seen over 96,000 people already apprehended for the month of December. That all comes as Mexico is also halting repatriations. That means they're not sending people back to their countries of origin right now because of funding issues. They uh, talked about budgetary problems, so they've stopped actually repatriating people. Now, in the memo that we were able to obtain, it says that it shouldn't have a big impact on illegal immigration. It's hard to try to figure out how it wouldn't have an impact though, right? I did reach out to CBP. They directed me to reach out to the Mexican government. Now we do wanna bring you this update here this afternoon as well. This is an update on a man that we met down in Lukeville, Arizona, which is kind of the other hotbed for illegal immigration. We linked up with a man named Usama on Thursday afternoon. Now Us reached back out to me just days later because he's already legal, he is already living in New York City. That was his destination of choice. He's already there. But he reached out to me telling me that he's having some issues working legally because he doesn't have a social security number and he doesn't have a driver's license. And he also told me that he needs to find a place to live, but he can't work right now. And things are so expensive in New York City. When we sat down with him in the dirt down in Lukeville, Arizona, he told me that he would find a job. You can work in Morocco, you can work here in the United States. And it's proving to be quite an issue there for us. So when it comes to these individuals that are behind me, what's going to happen? You can see them with those like little mylar blankets here because it is a little bit chilly out here uh, this afternoon. Now these individuals, the ones that we've talked to, we have El Salvador, we have Peru, we also have Venezuela, which is a vast majority of these individuals. They're going to be transported to the soft-sided facility, that Firefly facility, for that processing. So right here, they're going to get initial screening. They're going to have their picture taken on one of the handheld devices that Border Patrol has. That's going to flag them uh, for any 
immigration infractions. Then when they go to the processing center, they're going to go through more rigorous screening, DNA, fingerprints, and also for that facial recognition too, Kelly. So these people are going to go through that processing. Most of them under this Title VIII authority, the removal proceedings include a notice to appear like what Oost got. He got a notice to appear for October of 2024. That is what the majority of these individuals will likely be getting as well, Kelly. All right, certainly a complicated issue at the southern border. Allie Bradley, thank you for the update. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.